Hello students, today we are going to study the classification on the basis of nature of land under surveying. Now this type of surveying is generally bifurcated into three parts. First one is land surveying, second one is marine or hydrographic surveying and the last one is astronomical surveying. Now land surveying is further bifurcated into three parts that is topographical surveying, cadastral surveying and city surveying. Now we will see one by one all the type of surveying in detail. Now what do you mean by topographical surveying? The surveying in which location and information about natural ground features like hills, rivers, lake etc and artificial ground features like roads, railways, bridges, tunnels etc is obtained is known as topographical surveying. It means that the data collected in the topographical surveying generally contains the information about the natural ground features like hills, rivers, lakes and the data are in the form of elevation, distances etc. And for artificial ground features like roads, railways, bridges and the data is in the form of elevation. Okay students, so if any surveying gives you or gives an idea about the topography of the earth, then that type of surveying is known as topographical surveying. Now it is done for entire country or continent. Okay, now a topographical surveying is shown in this map which generally shows the nature of the earth that is whether there is elevation or whether there is depression on the surface of the earth like this. Okay students. Now the next is the cadastral surveying. Now what do you mean by cadastral surveying? The surveying in which legal boundaries of a property, colony, city, state, country, are fixed is defined as cadastral surveying. It means that if we are able to mark the legal boundaries of a city, state, colony, country, etc., then that type of surveying is known as cadastral surveying. Now, this is the very important type of surveying because it defines the border area of any state, any city or any country which is shown here that is the border line which is developed by cadastral surveying which is shown here okay students now this is generally done by cadastral surveying now one note is there that the information collected in this surveying is a legal document and can be placed in the court of law now, if there is any conflict between two parties regarding the boundary line of that particular area, then it can be resolved in the court and the document collected in the cadastral surveying is a legal document and can be used as a legal document in the court. Now, that is known as cadastral surveying. Generally, it is done by revenue department. Okay, students. Now, the next is city surveying. Now a surveying in which design and drawing of any project related to citizen welfare is prepared known as city surveying. Now if any surveying is done for the welfare of the citizen of that city then that type of surveying is known as city surveying. It may be any project related to the civil engineering work or any other work. Now, the projects like water supply, sewage treatment, park development, etc. comes under city surveying. So, these are the various projects which comes under city surveying. Now, the next is the marine or hydrographic surveying. Now, the surveying of area inside the large water bodies is known as hydrographic surveying. It means that the surveying done inside the large water body is known as marine or hydrographic surveying. Now, 
why we need to do the marine surveying to determine the discharge through a stream or to find the capacity of reservoir or the determination of mean sea level etc now how can we determine the depth of water in a particular water body it can be determined by the help of sounding technique okay now one question arises that suppose that if there is a water body if there is a water body inside this marked line now if we are moving over this line that is on land then this is known as topographic surveying and if we put one leg inside the water then this surveying is known as hydrographic surveying or it is known as marine surveying okay so if we are moving over the boundary of water body then it is known as topographic surveying or if we put a single leg inside the water body then it is a marine surveying or hydrographic surveying it is generally used to determine the mean sea level why because it is a point of permanent benchmark and it is used for the leveling work now you know that where is the mean sea level of india it is in mumbai before independence it was in karachi now what is astronomical surveying when the absolute location of a point or line is determined with respect to heavenly bodies like sun or any fixed star is defined as astronomical surveying it means that if we are able to find the location of any point on the surface of the earth with respect to any fixed heavenly bodies like sun or any other fixed star then that type of surveying is known as astronomical surveying because the position of sun or any fixed star is constant so we can determine our position on the surface of the earth by the reference of sun or any other fixed star so if we are able to find the location of a particular point on the surface of the earth from a fixed heavenly bodies like sun or any other fixed star then that type of surveying is known as astronomical surveying that is all about this concept thank you very much students